Welcome to Mary's Menagerie. In today's video, we're going to do more trash to treasure garden decor, repurposing thrift store finds and painting old statues. Project number one, Restore Statue Redo. I purchased this statue at a Restore in Tulsa and um, it cost me $9.98, but I actually got it 50% off. So it was only $5. I spray painted it white and that was all I needed to do to have a nice statue to put in my garden. Project number two, metal and glass mushroom. I purchased this piece of glass for $1.99 at Goodwill. It actually has a hole in the top of it, or actually the bottom, I have it upside down. And I also purchased this metal butt pan for $1.99 at Goodwill. I purchased some red Rust-Oleum spray paint from Walmart and painted um, the bunt pan red. I put my um, bunt pan on a little Lazy Susan so I can spin it as I paint the white dots on the red bunt pan. I'm using a little roller brush sponge and the paint, uh, I'll actually show it later in the video, it's an indoor-outdoor paint. I did my best to make the little white circles as perfect as I could. Not all of them came out very well, especially on the parts that weren't smooth. So I had to fix it with uh, another paintbrush. After I painted the bunt pan, um, I used this Rust-Oleum clear satin finish uh, sealer to spray on it and protect it from the weather. Okay, now I'm going to take the bunt pan and I'm going to add my E6000 to the bunt pan so I can attach it to the piece of glass um, to make my mushroom. I let the piece dry overnight, and you can see that there's a good bond now between the bunt pan and the piece of glass. And here we have the finished mushroom in the garden. Um, one thing I plan to do is put a solar light inside of it so it'll actually light up at night. Project number three, I'm going to take a broken statue and I'm going to transform it into a planter. This statue was broken when our uh, fence fell on top of it because of a storm. Um, you can see this is the inside, that's where I'm going to put the dirt. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this so it looks a little bit nicer. This is the paint I'm using today on a lot of my projects, the multi-surface paint, folk art, um, and I also am using um, the apple barrel paint that is also multi-surface that I purchased at Walmart. I painted the shoes black and I am painting both of their hats red. Here I'm using the folk art parchment to um, kind of give their skin a little off-white appearance. The color here is Apple Barrels Real Navy.
I'm painting the first shirt a new shamrock, which is an apple barrel paint. Next, I'm painting the beard with folk art wicker white. I am also using that same color to do the whites of their eyes. The second shirt will be painted uh, apple barrel dandelion yellow. I had to create the eye color blue by using the real navy mixed with the wicker white. Here I'm using um, the Folk Art Wicker White to paint the little platform that the two gnomes are holding. Here I'm just doing some touch-ups. Um, I didn't show all the times I touched up, but I did a lot of touching up uh, through all of my painting projects. Now I'm adding their pupils into their eyes. And then I'm going to add a touch of white so it looks like uh, the light is reflecting off their eye. The next step is to use my Waverly Antique Wax to coat the entire statue. I'm going to brush it on and I'm going to wipe it off with some baby wipes. This will bring out all the detail and kind of hide any um, places where my paint isn't perfect. All the painting and the waxing is completed. I let it dry and then I took it outside and I sprayed it with that um, Rust-Oleum Clear Satin Sealer. So um, that'll help protect it from the weather. Here I'm adding dirt to fill up the statue and then I'm going to add some flowers. And here we have my completed planter. I haven't done it yet, but I'm probably going to add some stones um, over the dirt kind of as a mulch to kind of hold the dirt in place. But I was pretty happy with how this turned out. Project number four, indoor decor becomes a garden feature. I purchased this metal bowl uh, pedestal from Goodwill for $5.99 and I painted it white. And then I went to Walmart and I purchased um, these gray stones to put inside the bowl and um, added it to my garden. Project number five, Faded Gnome Brightened Up. My sister-in-law um, sent this to me and asked me if I would repaint it for her. So I started um, using the same paints that I used on my other statue. I started with the black and I painted his shoes and his belt. Um, I used the parchment paint to paint his face and his hands and his ears. I needed gray to paint his beard, so I took some of the wicker white and I added in the black, which is actually called licorice, and I made some gray paint to use for his beard. The gray went on his eyebrows as well. There were a lot of little tiny details on this statue, so I found this brush that had a really sharp point 
and I used that and I had to go back and forth between the colors uh, if I made a mistake a um, lot of touching up but uh, I think it turned out pretty good in the end here I'm using red um, it is actually called cardinal red um, and now I'm touching up the black belt Probably the hardest thing to paint on this were the shoelaces, uh, but I went back and forth between white and black until uh, the white was where it was supposed to be and the black was where it was supposed to be. So uh, the white lines on the shirt uh, weren't too bad. And adding the final details on the shoelaces with the black paint. My sister-in-law liked the way he looked just like this, so we decided not to use the wax. I will spray this with the uh, clear satin um, sealer to protect it from the weather. Thank you for watching Mary's Menagerie. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.